I'm Bittersweet, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about what to do if you or a loved one finds out that you're going to have to get chemotherapy and you're going to need a port. So port is short for Metaport catheter, and I know when I found out, I was so nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Um, I was scared. I thought it was going to be embarrassing. I was going to have something under my skin. How was I going to be around my children? How was I going to be in a bathing suit at the beach? Um, and I thought it was going to be like this big Iron Man valve stuck in the middle of my chest. That's not it at all. It's very small. It's about that big. Um, I had a double. Some people have a single. And it's very easily put in outpatient. Mine went right here. Here's my scar, actually, because I just had it taken out about three weeks ago. And it connects. The port goes in here. And then it connects up. There's a little incision here and around to your heart. So I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is actually mine. Um, I took a picture when it was taken out, of course, no big surprise. This is the two chambers that they access. Again, this is all under your skin. These chambers, and then here's a little tube that goes to your heart. So the reason that that is so great is because on the days of your chemotherapy, all you have to do is put a little numbing cream on it with some saran wrap and go into the doctor, and when they access it, you don't feel a thing. Now, if your doctor or nurse didn't tell you about the Emla cream or some kind of numbing cream, go ahead and ask. It's not going to do anything to harm you, but it makes such a difference on the day of having no anxiety about having your port accessed. If you don't buy needles, then don't worry. But if you're like me, um, I'm a big baby, I don't like needles, everything hurts, then go ahead and ask for the numbing cream. So you put the numbing cream on. When you get there, they swab it off with alcohol. They access it with a needle and then hook you up to the IV, and that's it. So easy. You lay there. You don't feel a thing. Um, I would be in chemotherapy for three to five hours, depending on the day, and you don't feel it the entire time. It's not like it wears off and you feel it. And again, it, they just poke it right through your skin. <laughs> and the reason you want your port to begin with is that the chemotherapy um, chemicals can be really hard on your skin, or on your veins, very harsh. And depending on how many rounds you have to have, it actually can start to eat away at your veins. And you don't want to take a chance of that at all. So if they give you an option between a port and having an IV, tell them you want the port. I promise you, it will be one of the best decisions you make in this whole process. Um, it can stay in for as long or as little as you want following chemotherapy. I chose to have mine out about a month and a half after chemotherapy. Some people keep them in. If you keep them in, then you have to flush them every five to six weeks. And that's really easy. You just go in, um, they flush it with a little bit of heparin. It uh, doesn't hurt again. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit about the port. <laughs> I hope it answers some questions. Again, there's no earth-shattering medical news here, but I want to take some of the anxiety out of what it's like to have the port. It is a lifesaver. Um, it became my best friend. I wear my scar with a badge of honor. Even when I had my port, I wore the badge of honor because, you know what, I had cancer, and this is what it looks like to have cancer. And um, I wasn't ashamed at all. I really did wear it um, proudly. Is is crazy as that sounds. So again, if you have the option, go ahead and do it. If you have any specific questions, feel free to message me and I'll answer them for you. Thanks a lot.